So, so today's agenda would be, as I said, would be search-driven sites, search-driven publishing, and a small demo which I have prepared. Uh, the demo is pre-recorded, but uh, just to save some time. So, so just excuse me for that. Uh, what is a search-driven site? Uh, we, uh, if, if I'll just show an example what we use in theater. Uh, we have our intranet, uh, as you can see uh, the screen I'm sharing. Uh, this is our intranet. So Tieto is a is a company uh, uh, and has offices around uh, Northern Europe and Asia. So we have office in uh, so Pune, India. We have uh, in Europe, uh, Finland, Norway, uh, Stockholm. So when I come uh, every morning, I log into our intranet. Uh, what I see is. Uh, based on my location, I see local content, uh, local news. When I say a news, something uh, uh, published locally by uh, authors in Pune or editors in Pune, or a global news, which is coming from everywhere, which is coming from uh, theater office Finland, theater office Stockholm, and theater office Norway. Uh, what you see in front of you is, is not exactly 2013, but it's again search driven. Um, the reason I've shown you this site is just to give an example, what is a search driven site? Um, you see all these elements here, last seven days, what is hot, everything, what you see in front of you can be search driven. And that to be using SharePoint 2013. So that's what I meant by, uh, I mean, just wanted to define uh, what I thought of, of, of a search driven site. Uh,